Aquarius, what's up? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Are you moving on, Aquarius? It feels like there's a sudden shift in your feelings and you're choosing to move forward. You're choosing to move away from this connection here. All this while you were stuck, stagnant, there were delays, you were frustrated, etc. But now you're choosing to move forward, choosing to move away from this connection here. Why? Because there was someone here who probably was non committal someone here who was indecisive, someone here who was probably not being able to make up a choice, or someone who, would, who was just not taking the lead in this connection. Uh, now this person out here, all of a sudden wants to take the lead in this connection. They're very passionate about you. They're very confident about what they want with you. They're wanting to make this happen with you here, okay? You on the other hand here, even though you do have a lot of love for this person here, there are chances that you're moving on from them, like very quickly, very quickly. I see you moving on a little faster than expected. You know, it's like you're manifesting your exit really, really quick. You're taking action and just like, bye. But yeah, there's a sudden shift in the way you feel. So there's a change out here, but this change is like almost like, you know what, like things aren't changing, what I do, it's a situation that's going nowhere. <coughs> and um, you're just trying to go with the flow, go with the changes, okay, just... Um, you know, like, uh, all right, like, uh, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, you know, uh, what, what, uh, what flows, flows, what crashes, crashes is what you're saying. And you're choosing to move away from this connection, although the relationship and the connection still remains out here. Maybe you guys have a lot of love for each other, but you're just not seeing eye to eye. But I do see you as wanting to move away. This person out here now wants to come back and they want to take a risk if they weren't ready to take a risk all this while. And they're ready to move things forward with you. They want to. Okay, now they're, they're like, you know, in that, in that zone where now I want to make it happen. Like now I want to do this. Now I want to do that. You know, like all this while they were like, uh, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure. And you know, they were very passive, very passive. Now they've got the willpower. They're being more action oriented, you know, and, um, you know, you could be dealing with someone here, you know, the kind of person that you wanted commitment from or relationship from, but someone who probably, uh, who loves their independence and their freedom, okay? So the moment you get clingy, the moment you get overly dramatic, that's when this person runs away. They run away from all this, okay? So yeah, this person out here needs a lot of space and I think you have given them space or are giving them space by walking away, which is why they realize that they want you even more. All right, how does uh, Aquarius view this connection or view the person they're dealing with? <clears throat> and how does this person view Aquarius? You wanted commitment from them clearly and it didn't work out here all right now tradition could be a problem between you both family could be a problem between you both maybe the family wants them to marry someone else or a certain type of an individual and probably you don't fix in the box or um, you guys have very different religions here finances could be a problem out here or it's just a lot of family not being able to you know like marriage just not happening out here which is why you are very very disappointed in this person out here very disappointed um, there's a lot of emotional loss, emotional disappointment, emotional loss is also what I'm getting here, okay? And it's like this energy where you just feel like it's all fucking over and done with, everything's destroyed, okay? There's this lack energy out here coming from you, you feel it's all over and gone, okay? You're very uh, hurt because uh, there was a lot of things that you thought would have gone your way here, but you're not in a good place emotionally, okay? I think you trusted this person, but this person disappointed you. Okay, so you're pretty sad down, clinging on to the past out here. You would have really, really hoped and wished that you could get married to this person out here, but it didn't work out here. This person out here, I feel that this person was holding on to a lot of fear, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. So what I'm getting here is that this person here, because we have the fool and now we have the moon also. So you could be dealing with someone here who wants an agenda about what's really going to happen in the future. You know, they can't just trust and take a leap of faith and just move forward here. So this is somebody who was very doubtful, very indecisive all this while. They were very unsure, you know. But I think somewhere, somehow they were projecting their own fears and fantasies, okay? Their fears more, more so onto this connection. They had the fear of the unknown. They probably kept thinking, you know, like it's just not going to work out, you know. A very negative thinker out here who, uh, who focuses more on their fear rather than their intuition here, okay? 
I feel this person is really, really ready to release their fear, their anxiety, release and get that clarity and they want a reconciliation with you. That's how they view this connection. They want this with you. What is the root of the issue? What is the root of the issue for Aquarius? What is the root of the issue for Aquarius? So I feel that this person here always made you feel that very left out in the cold here. So now the thing out here is that with the five of wands and five of cups here, there is a change happening here, okay? Something happened where you guys were not on the same page. Uh, too many conflicts, too many arguments, you know, like all oh, this person here just never made the time for you or this connection here, okay? However it is, this person didn't make the time for you. They didn't make time for the connection out here. You know, they were always unavailable. Uh, another thing I'm getting is that there could be too many people between you both. Could be, okay. There were too many people between you both. Maybe there was a lot of drama out here, okay. But uh, someone probably had to fight for this connection here, okay. Uh, but definitely it was a struggle here. There was a clash of ideas. You wanted something else. They wanted something else out here. But that's a lot of pressure, okay. And because of which one person is more disappointed and moving away here, okay. So that's the root of the issue out here. That someone's like, you know what, I'm done with the drama. I don't have time for this. Either this person is this, the root of the issue, someone's running away. From this connection or from the drama out here, who was trying to run away from the drama out here is now like, you know what, I'd rather just have a peaceful resolution and we could just like mutually part ways out here is what I'm getting. But you definitely always felt very left out in the cold by this person here yeah? and now it's like you have no choice but to move away from them because you weren't, there's this lack, okay, you probably thought you weren't good enough, probably this person stripped you of your confidence, whatever it is. But the problem here is that like I said, right, too many arguments out here, okay. And uh, a lot of resistance, okay, to have a sane argue argument, to, to have a sane conversation. But you probably want this person to sit with you, talk it out, right? But it's so much resistance from the side where you're like, you know what, this is too messy. This is too messy out here. All right, tell me, what action will the Aquarius take towards this person moving forward? What action will this person take towards Aquarius moving forward? Moving on, right? You feel that you're moving towards... Uh, so all this while you could have doubted, you know, yourself. You could have doubted yourself, you know, thinking like, am I ever going to be able to get out of this connection? Am I ever going to be able to get out of this person here? You know, I mean, if things are just not working out, what do I do? What am I supposed to do? Like you were trapped in your own head is what I'm getting, okay? You were trapped, you were sitting there and you were like, I can never get out of this connection. I can never get over this person here. Maybe this is what it is and I'm never gonna get someone like that. So a lot of negative thoughts. You were in your own way, babe. You were in your own way here. Um, <clears throat> you know, this energy is more like you just didn't know, okay? You just didn't know what to do. It probably was like, you were doubting yourself, is all I'm getting, very helpless. You know, you probably were like, um, I don't have a solution to this. I'm just going to be stuck in my head. I have no clue. And I'm, it's like, it's like this thing is full of hurdles out here. But now you are seeing the road. You're seeing the right light at the end of the tunnel here. You're trusting your intuition. Okay. Instead of trusting your logic, or instead of sticking into your head or being just in your head, ruining your mental health. Now you're trusting your intuition, finding a way out. And I think now somewhere, somehow you have hope and faith. Um, you're pro giving up on this connection, that's for sure. But you feel you're heading towards a more, um, you're heading towards a positive direction. Yeah. I feel there's a lot of uh, hope and faith, okay? There's like a lot of re restoring, a lot of healing, okay? And I feel that now you probably feel that uh, things will get better. Because I feel that this breakup out here, uh, you hadn't healed from it. But now you're very optimistic that the kind of, um, uh, action that you're taking to leave this connection away is going to be good for you okay i think there's an opportunity that's coming to you or you are going for an opportunity here but you're you know it's like you're stepping up your game here and you're getting ready for something new something unexpected okay because you are in that area where you feel like anything can happen all right and you're not in that restrictive mode anymore you're not choosing to succumb to um, any kind of fears and you're not you're choosing not to be attached to the outcome 
okay it's like you're entering a period of more calm and stability all right you're healing and uh, you feel you're going onto the right path out here okay you're starting to heal and you're starting to head into the right direction a more positive direction the person that you're dealing with was stuck in their head all this while okay this person was uh, was not being able to make a choice they didn't want to make a choice now the reason they didn't want to make a choice was clearly because they knew that they had uh, a very stressful choice to make stressful decisions to make okay and both the decisions were something that they didn't want to take responsibility for so i thought they stay with you okay and commit to you or then they let you go completely which also they didn't want to do so this person could be someone who was avoiding a decision all this while okay they knew what they had to do but they were just probably you know burying their head into the sand uh refusing to make a decision okay and uh, just trying to stay calm and balanced but that was not staying calm and balanced that was just trying to be diplomatic okay and uh they were not making a decision because they wanted to avoid the consequences okay so i feel now this person um they are stuck in their head there but again i feel that this person is wanting to invest into you they want to ground this relationship okay they see you as marriage material here they want to take it long term they want to marry you they want to be with you here okay but they want to start off with a reconciliation is what i'm getting here um yeah pretty much but they are interested in this okay and they're coming towards you wanting to make it happen with you what's the likely outcome what's the likely outcome for the clients and the person they're dealing with what's the likely outcome Oh damn! <laughs> You're breaking their heart, Aquarius. You're breaking their heart. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. You're gonna break their heart. Your heart's not breaking. That's for sure. This person's coming in, okay, wanting to talk to you here. They are, but you're just going to be a little sneaky this time around. You are choosing to walk away from this person without letting this person know a. because now you're in a very confident state of mind you're bold you don't fear your power you're uh, believing in yourself you're coming up as very attractive very bubbly very charismatic but you're fiercely independent more so ever more than anything i feel that you are just this powerful energy okay you're pulsing with energy right now very brave and i think you're handling things well and you're just like you know what you're taking care of yourself and you're very secure in yourself is what i'm getting and whatever actions and issues you're handling you're handling them with a lot of enthusiasm with a lot of positive energy okay it's like literally that energetic vibe from you where you're commanding how to handle your life you know you're very self assured and what you're doing is you're walking away from them very sneakily you're very sneakily getting away from them this person won't even does not even have an idea that you're choosing to walk away from them but you are you are you're walking away from them in a very sneaky manner now i thought this could be that you're opening yourself to new options and this person doesn't know that or this person still assumes that you're still in love with them they're in love with you and this relationship is still on and there's just a break out here but this quick shift uh, this person is going to be like it's going to be like a shock or you're going to shock you're going to give them the shock of their life when they come towards you like hey i want to marry you you're like marry who you know <laughs> Yeah, you're walking away, Aquarius. And but you're doing it very sneakily, very smart. It's like stealth mode. You're in stealth mode. This person has no idea that you're that you've left the building. They're probably assuming you're somewhere out there on some floor. Seriously, you're doing it very smartly, very strategically. Okay, without letting this person know here. But yeah, you're just like I I I gotta do what I gotta do. I had the love, I had the emotions, I waited for you. Things didn't change. You didn't do anything about it. But you know what? I feel. I agree this person didn't take action or they were non-committal whatever it was but with the wheel of fortune out here the current situation here I feel things were stuck because the universe was trying to teach you lessons or teach them lessons or you had to learn something from this connection out here because things did look pretty dead pretty uh well you know it's like dude what the hell happened we were going fine all of a sudden there are these commitment issues and you guys are not getting along there were fights there were arguments there was pettiness and people started coming between you both etc whatever happened right it was the universe's way to probably separate you guys so that you understand that probably you were the one who was putting in too much into this connection and getting your heart broken and probably for you to realize if this person was bringing any illusions to you okay then this person it was you know was his way to tell you that probably the marriage is not um possible right now 
or probably you're hoping a lot or you have a lot of unrealistic expectations because this person definitely had unrealistic expectations from you. Maybe they expected you to be with them, love them and be very, very exclusive with them without them being able to commit to you. Okay. So yeah, this person can come off as uh, a little boorish and someone here who expects too much from themselves and others. But yeah, you're choosing to walk away here. But yeah, you're walking away without letting this person know your intentions. So you may even talk to this person here, I feel, when they contact you, but they don't know what you're doing. They, they don't know that you're just going to be like shutting the door on their face. Or you already have. Yeah, that was predictable, right? It can happen, is happening or will happen. All right, so that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and I'll leave your comments below. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.